wrong side to the slot. It was a dream, but now, alhamdulillah, it's a reality. Assalamualaikum. My name is Ali. I'm 22 years old. I'm from Sweden. I've been a Muslim for 11 months. I was born in a town called Gothenburg, and uh, I was grew up in a place called Bakya with my two parents, my two sisters. I was going in primary school in uh, Bakya as well, and uh, as well uh, secondary school. And uh, first of all, primary school, I went to uh, pretty close to the area I was living. And uh, pri uh, secondary school, I was living pretty far from my place. And uh, after that, yeah, I was probably in the age of 16, 15, yeah. Uh, then I started to yeah, hang around with bad people. And, you know, was, you know, doing stuff I didn't want to do, you know, but I have to do it. And, you know, it was nothing you want to do but you know you want to get the money you, you know it's the how the streets are you know you want to do business and everything you know and people around me was doing bad things like selling drugs whatever you know robbing people you know going to industry you know stealing computers whatever you know doing all this kind of stuff you know going through cars you know all these bad things you know you can imagine like you see on the television you know you see these people you know they're robbing people you know doing the bad things this is, this is nothing you know New. This is all things that happening all and over again. So, uh, so I was seeing, you know, my friends. Uh, they were, you know, as I said before, they were into the bad, bad business, and you know, they wanna make the money and everything. You know, as as the time goes, you know, you older you get, the harder the business gets. You know, but as it comes, you know, to friends, I'm seeing my friends backstabbing each other. You know, because of the money, and they're seeing, you know, this guy makes more money than I do, and of course they wanna have the attention. You know, a reputation, whatever, you know, be feared and everything. So, yeah. Of course, my parents were very worried. Of course, my mother, she could not, you know, being uh, asleep on the nights because she was thinking, you know, what I'm doing on the nights, you know, I'm outside, you do, doing bad stuff and everything, you know. She was thinking, you know, maybe my son is, you know, go with these guys. Of course, I was not doing all this kind of stuff, of course not. But, you know, as, my, as I said, my friends, you know, they went into this business more than I do, you know, they were more, you know, more bad boys than I was, you know, they was they were trying to, you know, get the reputation, wanna be feared and everything, you know, this this was the goal for them. But my goal was not there. I was, you know I was I was a confused little boy at that time, you know, I was wanna, you know, have a friendship and everything, you know, wanna be in the you know group with everything, you being accepted as a man, you know, understand. But you know, as the time being goes, you know, you can't live like that. You have to, you know, when it comes to you know, someone come up to you and you know saying you well, what's up, you know, you wanna have a you know you want to fight, whatever, you know, you have to stand up for yourself. Yeah, basically I went in my boxing club and I met an old uh, ex-gang member and uh, we clicked, you know, and you know, we talked and everything and uh, he was giving my number, he was giving his number and we, you know, I called him, we talked and everything, he was very friendly and everything. But after a while, you know, he said to me, you know, you want to make money? I said, sure, you know, it's, it's hard times. And, uh, <clears throat> I thought, you know, I can make some money, you know, I can, you know, get some coins in the in the pocket. So I thought, you know, why not? So the guy, you know, he called me and we met, you know, we talked and everything, you know. But this was not for long, you know, it was just a small thing. But the thing was, it was the guy, you know, is, you know, was a very friendly guy, as I said before. But the guy, you know, as I said, he was an ex-gang ex -gang member and, uh, you know, he was making money. He was making, He's making very much money, and uh, as it comes, you know, he's, you know, I was hanging around with him, you know, he was, you know, very friendly for a while, but after a while, you know, you saw him, you know, getting more paranoid, you know, was using more drugs, you know, the more money he made, you know, the more paranoid he get. So, <clears throat> after a while, he was um, starting to use drugs, you know, normal days, you know, like every time he wake up, you know, he was using it for coffee, whatever, you know, it's like, it became normal, like breakfast or something, you know, I thought, you know, subhanAllah, you know, is this, is this really, you know, is this guy is real, you know, he's doing it every day, you know, I can't believe this. But anyway, you know, you carry on, you know, the guy, you know, we met, you know, but as it comes, you know, the guy was starting to get more paranoid 24-7, I could not leave the house with any weapons, whatever, you know, it was, people were having beef on him, you know, because he was making a lot of money, and uh, after a while, you know, he was going to, um, uh, yeah, we were going to a place, and uh, we were there for a while. We had to use some cocaine, whatever, and the day was not going well. And 
I was so you know the guy was was going you know very paranoid and everything you know. So basically after a while he was like he took up the gun you know and got nuts. I don't know what happened to him you know. He pointed the gun at me and aimed it to me you know saying you know starting screaming at me everything you know. I thought, I thought you know what's this guy doing you know. This guy is very very you know very very rough at the moment and I thought you know how can he be like that you know he's very friendly and everything. And uh, after a while, I thought, you know, what's this guy doing? You know, I can't, I can't be around this guy if he's gonna carry on like this, and if he's gonna carry on with the drugs and everything. And he's, I, I'll probably get killed if this guy is gonna continue like this. So basically, at that day, we carry on to probably 6 a.m. in the morning. The guy told me, you know, come out with the weapons. He's going around in the woods and everything. He's still paranoid. I don't know what's happening around with the uh, guy. And uh, he's going around with the weapons, he's saying the cops are out there, you know, he's still, you know, I don't know, they he used a lot of drugs. So uh, the drugs was, you know, messed up his mind. And uh, he was carrying on, you know, going around the woods, you know, saying, come out, come out. I know you're out there, you know, you you, know, you can't hide, you know, I know you're out there. So you, you, can't, you can't understand, he was like, we were there for two hours, you know, going around, you know, and the guy was, I don't know, he was in another dimension or something. So basically after two hours I went home. I thought, you know, subhanAllah, this, this guy is not, he's not my friend, you know, he's, he's just, you know, making money, you know, he's getting paranoid. So, yeah, after the problem, as I said, you know, we, uh, we didn't talk that much, you know, I was, you know, leaving the guy alone, you know, I didn't want to be around him. Because uh, something bad happened to me afterwards and, you know, I'm thinking, you know, what's the purpose of life, you know, what I'm doing here, you know, I'm, you know, I'm, am I around here, you know, used to do bad things, you know, I'm, I'm a human being, you know. A, I have a good life, you know, I want to have a good life, I want to have a, a purpose of my life, I want to have peace in my mind, everything, you, you know. So uh, basically a friend talked to me about Islam, you know, he, he was, you know, he was not that good, but still he was talking about, you know, he was encouraging me to Islam and everything, he was telling me about, you know, Quran, was Quran saying and everything. So, uh, yeah, I was starting to read about Quran, uh, Islam, as I'm saying, you know, and Quran and everything, you know, what's, what's, what's Islam about, you know, because as you see in the television, you know, people talk, you know, Islam is bad and everything, you know, so, you know, I give it a chance, a chance, and, you know, you see, you know, as I saw, you know, it's nothing bad about it, you know, it's alhamdulillah. Yeah, basically, I started to read about it more and more, and as time being, I think it was like, I can't remember, but it took some time before, you know, the Shahada and everything, but I gave it a chance, you know, I was reading about it, listening to lectures and everything, and just trying to, you know, understand what's Islam about, you know, and even to, you know, hear, you know, what's the, you know, Sheikh t telling about, you know, Western part, you know, they were telling, you know, people just consuming, you know, they, they have no life, they have nothing, you know, it, as I, you know, feeling, you know, this is true, you know, we, we, we are not doing any, I was like, I'm not, and I was like, I feel, I felt like, you know, this is true, you know. I don't do nothing with my life. I'm just sitting here, living, you know, you know, don't have any job, nothing, you know. And, you know, as I say, you know, about the uh, criminality, you know, it's not good, you know. So I thought, you know, I was looking into what the sheikh said, you know, said, you know, people consuming, they're drinking alcohol, you know, they're doing this and that, you know, smoking cigarettes, whatever, you know. And I'm saying to myself, what, 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 what kind of world do I want to grow up to, you know, what, what kind of society when I live up you know so yeah after that you know it was like yeah I have to I went to Sheikh with my friend uh, in a place called Biscop School and the Fisk Valley story and um, we went there and I had a lot of questions but I didn't know how to begin the question so he was I said to the Sheikh you know begin to talk and as he was talking you know he answered all my questions you know about you know, girls, whatever, you know, all this kind of stuff, how, you know, how society works in this time, you know, and how God are, you know, and how Allah is, you know, everything. Yeah, basically, as I talked to the Sheikh, you know, he was saying, you know, saying all these questions and everything, you know, was, you know, I was, after that, you know, as he answered my, all my questions, I went home, you know, I tell the guys, you know, give me some time to just read about more and about Islam, you know, they give me some books about the Prophet, and, you know, about Quran and everything, you know, I was reading about it, I was listening to more lectures and everything, I get, you know, they, you know, really boost you know I was feeling you know and uh, you know it was like you know I was feeling you know now I get now I got the purpose in my life you know I started to feel you know this is where I want to live for you know this is yeah so after a while I went back to my friends and said you know it's the time you know I want to become a Muslim because uh, I don't uh, I don't want to spend my time more you know wasting it you know and, uh, you know so alhamdulillah you know I took the shahada after I think you know, after I talked to the sheikh like 
probably eight months or something but because I just just want to give my more time you know to know about Islam you know know what I'm giving giving to you know so alhamdulillah now you now you become a Muslim how has Islam changed your life well it changed me it changed my life in many parts in terms of uh, not drinking anymore not using drugs not smoking cigarettes all of these kind of bad things you know going to the club and uh, don't listen to music, don't watch movies, you know, just reading, studying and everything, you know, try to exercise, you know, everything. Before, you know, before, as I said, before in Islam, I was probably waiting 54 kilos and now, you know, alhamdulillah, you know, I weighed 70 kilos. Thanks to Islam, you know, I gained a lot of kilos because before, as I said, you know, with the drugs and everything, it was not good. And, uh, you know, I gained a lot of kilos, you know, Islam encouraged me to train, you know, take care of my body and everything, you know, before I smoked a lot, you know. And the Salat, you know, SubhanAllah, you can't be more happier to thank Allah every day. He's giving you life, you know, he's giving my life back every time. And I've done all this bad stuff. I can't be more happier than Allah, you know, every time I wake up, you know, for Fajr, Allah giving my life back. He's saying, you have a better life, you, you have a chance to make a better life for you this time. So, Alhamdulillah, you know, Islam has changed my life in many parts. When it comes to my parents, Alhamdulillah, you know, I obey, I obey them much more, you know, my sisters, you know, I have better manners, akhlaq, whatever, you know, it's all of these kind of things, you know, Muslims should have, you know, so Alhamdulillah, everything is, is much better, Alhamdulillah. What advice have you got to non-Muslims regarding Islam? For the non-Muslims, I got an advice that is, um, don't read the newspaper, don't watch TV, don't listen to radio, don't listen to what people are saying, because Allah, He gave you an eye, he gave you ears, he gave you heart, he gave you a mind. So what? You, you can't read a book. So you know, go to whatever country you're from, just take a book. It's, the Quran is in all language. You can read it in English, Chinese, whatever. But just read it and you know, look up to it. Because you can judge it by your own mind. Don't judge it by other people. That's my advice to you for, for the non-Muslims. I want to thank Roadside to Islam for putting me on this show. For Muslim in Sverige who will learn more about you and it will be a better Muslim and learn about who Allah is and all this. I think you should come to Mellanöstern, study, come here, hear Adan, have a mosque in every corner, have halal kött överallt, liksom alla de här sakerna som vi inte har i Sverige. Och att kunna liksom ha chef eller, eller män som liksom har hur mycket kunskap som helst och liksom lära sig av de här personerna. Alhamdulillah, sen jag kommit hit, jag har lärt mig hur mycket som helst. Jag tror första gången jag kom hit, jag kunde ingen arabiska, ingenting, ingenting sånt här. Och nu jag kan läsa Koran, allting, göra hefs, allting och jag kan mest läsa arabiska och allt detta. Men det är tack jag vara Allah. Allah gav mig den här chansen. Så ni borde komma hit. Assalamu alaikum.